Tulsa businessman says he is the victim of a St. Louis jewelry heist. He says more than $400,000 worth of watches were stolen from his hotel room at the Embassy Suites downtown. Fox News Andy Banker has this exclusive report. St. Louis police confirmed they are investigating the theft of five watches from a hotel room here worth from forty dollars to $112,000 each. And the victim says it's not just that it happened, it's how it happened that makes this such a nightmare. I'm going to be honest with you. I believe it was planned. I really believe this was some of a jury heist. East St. Louis native Rion Woodiest sells high-end jewelry, including gold, platinum, well, that's a brother, man. diamond watches, brands like Rolex and Cartier. He says the downtown Embassy Suites Hotel is like his second home. He stayed here more than 600 nights in recent years as he traveled. Damn, that's a big time. That Sun Man is doing it. Shout out to that Sun Man, man. We need, we need more Sun Man in the Jerry game, man. Hey, he says the downtown Embassy Suites Hotel is like his second home. He stayed here more than 600 nights in recent years as he travels for his businesses, jewelry sales in Tulsa and Atlanta, plus this discount shop in Belleville, Illinois. He says he left here on the night of March 23rd, and when he got to his hotel room, he says the door was open, and there was a woman inside. She went frantic, and I was like, ma'am, ma'am, calm down. And she was like, why are you in my room? And I was like, uh, I was like, no, ma'am, you're in my room. He says he thought he had extended his stay, but hotel staff gave his room to somebody else, putting his belongings into hotel storage. I was leaving Lily the next morning and came back. Everything was out the room, and the watches were... Gone. They said they packed up the room and they specifically put my watches inside of my coat pocket. Police confirmed the details. His watches were not in any of those suit pockets. They have never been recovered. Woodiest says he and hotel management pursued an insurance claim, but he just got a letter from the insurer saying they were not liable for the losses. And he See some people, some people when y'all loot stores and y'all say, oh, they got insurance. We well, all destroy people's stuff, and you say, "Oh, they got insurance. They, they'd be all right." <laughs> it don't work like that all the time. But he just got a letter from the insurer saying they were not liable for the losses, and it gets worse. That morning, my truck had got broken into. He says nothing was stolen from his truck. <laughs> Welcome to St. Louis, man. <laughs> Welcome to St. Louis, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Liable for the losses, and it gets worse. That morning, my truck had got broken into. He says nothing was stolen from his truck. Police report no arrest, and Woodius is now considering legal action against the hotel hoping to recoup his massive losses. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. Hotel officials did not answer questions or agree to an interview. However, a spokesperson released a statement saying in part, the well-being, safety, and security of our guests are of paramount importance. We work closely with the local police department and cooperated fully. Oh, man, hope that son, man, gets some kind of closure, man. Um,